Hello everyone. Now we all know that the real tracks are the secret sauce for Band in the Box, but for various reasons you might want to replace a specific real track with a MIDI track instead. So that's what I'm going to show in this video. I am demonstrating this in the Band in the Box Windows version, but the steps are the same in the Mac version. So for example, let's say I want to change my piano real track to a piano MIDI track. So something that uh, people might want to do is go to select MIDI instrument patch, since that's how you normally replace the MIDI patch if your track is already a MIDI track beforehand. But since it's a real track, we have to instead go to select custom MIDI style for this track. And in this new window, uh, you see we have the piano track selected here. If for let's say you change your mind and want to replace a different real track, you can just select it in this drop down menu. But let's leave it on piano for this example. And you can leave this on any patch and continue your search uh, from that point. But since I know that I already want it to be a piano patch, let's uh, select that in the drop down menu here. And then click on choose style with this patch. So this opens up the style picker window here. And I'll make it a little smaller so it fits on screen. There we go. And you can see here that it already has this filter for the acoustic piano patch applied. Now this is showing all of my styles with all the different genres that includes this acoustic piano patch in the style. But let's filter the list down a little further because it is a bit much and I want to make sure I get a piano that works with my current song. So under category, let's make sure it's jazz because it's a jazz song that I have up. Um, in the time signature, I also know it's 4-4, four four, so let's filter for that. And the tempo is at 110, so let's set it to 110 here. And now this shows everything in jazz, and you can see here the genre is a little bit out of order. So let's click the genre title here, and that reorganizes the list so it's organized by genre. And let's just see what a few sound like. Yeah, so clicking this green play button here will play a pre-recorded demo of the style. Um, how about this one instead? So since I didn't mute any of my tracks in the mixer uh, before opening the style picker window here, it's playing all of these tracks, not just the piano. So it's just the piano that I'm listening for because that's the only track that will be replaced when we do these steps. So let's say I want the piano track from this style, then I'll click OK. And now you can see the uh, green piano real track has been replaced with a yellow piano MIDI track. And if you're ever unsure of what style that this MIDI track came from, it is written in brackets here. It's the equals kata underscore bs uh, dot sty style. So now that has been replaced, we can click OK and listen to our song. And also remember, after replacing your real track with the MIDI track, to always click the Generate and Play button as the final step. Uh, 
Okay, now let's say later on as you're working through your song and you change your mind and you want to go back to a real track, all you need to do is click on it and go back to select custom MIDI style for this track and then click on clear piano track and you can see that changes it back to the real track and click OK. And then of course, since you've changed it, you will need to click the Generate and Play button again. If you have any questions about these steps, please let us know in the comment section.